So hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you have watched the previous video, then you will know what I'm about to talk about, talking about Dea uh, Brewery. Uh, if you've not, not and you're coming in watching this video about this beer, then I will almost start afresh. So basically, I had uh, a couple of beers from um, the bottle shop, Harbour Stores, from Dea because I'd heard so much about them and I'd sort of like kicked myself for not um, trying uh, a Dea beer. So I thought to myself, right, I'm going to have these two, give them a go, see what they're like. And I was blown away. I thought, I thought, well, I've not had this one. But I thought, yeah, the Dea Pale Ale that I've, that I've reviewed literally five minutes ago, but you've probably not even seen it or you have seen it and you're coming to watch this one. Um, I got as part of a six pack uh, for £35 off their website. So it has uh, two of the Pale Ales at 4%, two of the IPAs at 6.5% and two of the Dippers at 8%. So you've got the original IPA, the uh, uh, then you've got the Pale Ale, which is a little less... Um, sticky, a little less hoppy. Then you've got the dipper, which is more sticky and more hoppy, right? Centraled around that that original one. You get this little pack here as well in it. A little bit of novelty stuff. Um, <clears throat> sorry if you've uh, if you've seen the other video, fast forward this bit. So you get some tattoos there that I was going to pop on. But also what I really like, you get these trump cards. So we've done the pale ale. There they are. <laughs> like what we used to have when we were kids. Uh, and you still get them now, can't you? But anyway, we've done the pale ale, so we'll put that down. Um, so <clears throat> we're on now to the Dea Super Glue. So I've gone from the pale right to the other end, and then I'll do the IPA right in the middle. So uh, backstory, new beer on the block, which is all the writings there, lot. new beer on the block. Um, often rumoured, highly anticipated. Uh, ramped up. Matuka dosing. Oh, so the Matuka then um, giving that sort of like um, real tropical and fruity flavors. A premier New Zealand hop, formerly known as Belgium Sars. So good in Belgian beers, apparently. Um, so uh, and uh, can handle the job on the top trumps. Oh, unapologetic stickness. Yeah, well, that will do. So anyway, so ABV, 8%, dry hop, 92. We are talking like this is a top trump. If you're playing the day of top trumps, you've just won that bad boy. Uh, tropical fruit, 9. Uh, so compared to the pale ale, let's do the top trump. So the pale ale, dry hop, 43. Dry hop, 92. Okay. So the pale ale, tropical fruit, 7. Tropical fruit, 9. <laughs> right. Citrus eight. The citrus in this was quite it was quite up there. It was quite powerful. Well but nice citrus, you know what I mean? Freshness, fresh lemon, fresh sort of citrus fruit. Uh citrus seven, slightly less citrusy here. Uh stickiness five, stickiness ten. Now the pale air was smooth. Um and what we got here? Oh, so we got uh Matuka and Nelson one eight one. Uh, one like one. Point one dot eight dot one, and this has got two dot seven dot one. Now I wonder what that means. I wonder if that's sort of like where you're talking about the hot side and the cold side, how the hops have been used. It's pretty decent. But anyway, on the top trumps, here we go. Let's crack open. Let's put that one down. We are now on the super super glue, the dipper. Look at that label. Absolutely fantastic. Let's crack this open. Get it into a can. I am looking forward to this because let me tell you, the pale ale at four percent was absolutely awesome. Look at that coming out of there. This is going to be quality now. Straight away, it's oh look at that. It is looking now in the background. There's a little squeak. I've got a fan eater in here that I only put on when I come down here because I. It's a good. It's good at the minute keeping the cabin cool because I've got a few beers that don't need to be in the, the fridge, but they don't want to be getting too too warm. So it's nice to keep everything a bit cool. Um. So yeah. So that's come out looking a similar colour to what the pale ale was, but probably just a little bit more 
It does look thicker. It does look a little bit more slightly orangey in colour. Uh, now, funny, funny enough, I was just thinking to myself when I drank that pale ale, did I get any orange? I think I probably did, thinking about it. I didn't mention mention it, but like, yeah, that oranges and lemon and lime, that sort of the grapefruity type of type of um, citrusy fruits. Yeah, so look at that, looking good, looking good, smelling good as well. Probably because I've just had the other one. My nose has got used to some of them like hop hop smells, but. Uh, yeah, smelling fresh, smelling fruity. Yeah, smelling. Oh, probably a little bit more danky this is going to be. But you look at that. It hardly moves. And here I'm going straight into this. This is going to be banging. I just know it. I know it. I've not had it before. Anyway, just before I do, <laughs> sorry for the delay. Right, so this beer is a supercharged version of our beloved IPA glue, a full whack of citrus and tropical fruit on the dry hop for maximum holding power. When times are hard, they stick together. It's been a hard day today. My internet connection is literally like a car that keeps breaking down on a long journey. Nightmare. Right, cheers everybody. Bottoms up. Oh my goodness, that is good. That is good. That is good. Oh, big apologies, Daya. Big apologies for not having these beers before. Oh, please accept my apology. Why have I not had these beers before? Why have I I've heard so much about Daya Brewery and yet it's I don't know. I just don't know. I can't I can't even I can't even say why. I can't even say why. I mean, look at the labels. The label is enough to attract you to come and gra grab this beer. Um, you know, it's got a nice little like uh, QR code on the back that you can scan. So no doubt that what, what's going on. I love their website. I love the um, I love the Instagram page where you get that. That I mean, it is a crocodile, isn't it? Yeah, coming coming across. It's just everything about this brewery just lends me to go in and grab it. But yeah, the, this is my first time really over the last week or so trying this brewery but yeah but i've ordered a load off their site as well so i've, I've got quite a few beers to that i'll bring to the bring to the channel but uh, well when i say a load i've ordered more of these because i knew it were going to be good more of the pale ales more of the ipas but i've also ordered a few of their different ones and i'm going to continue to drink this 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 day of beer because it is smashing so so yeah there's a lovely fresh nice danky sort of like not over danky but it's it's more um, on the danky side than it is on the bursting fruit flavors, sort of like artificial fruit smell, if you know what I mean. I mean to say that quite a few times that like, you know, I've I seen somebody talking about the watermelon beer and I just thought, oh my word, you know, this, you, in order to get a beer to taste like watermelon, you, you I, I just think it's just, they're, they're just adding just, there's so many so many beers out there that are just artificially flavoured, I think. Um the, this is not at all. Oh and then you know what? Oh super sticky, super silky, really easy to drink at eight percent as well. I just had to reset my mind there to the fact that this is eight percent wow that is crushable that is and again look at that beautiful soft absolutely gorgeous white snowy white probably not quite a snowy white there's a little bit of break in the whiteness there a little bit of sunshine just got into that whiteness um, a stunning looking beer though, isn't it? It really is. There's a lot of real ale drinkers out there go, what? It's, that's gone off, that is. It's cloudy. You know, I'm a real ale drinker, so I can take the mick out of myself for that. I would have handed a beer back years ago if it had the slightest of cloudiness and if it weren't crystal clear, you know, 
if I went into Everard's and they poured me one of the, the old original here and it wasn't absolutely crystal clear, that would be going back. Um, but there's so many reasons why beers are not clear and these are not meant, the hazy stuff and all that is just, you're getting so much more flavour. The flavour in this beer is absolutely outrageously brilliant. What I'm trying to do is catch the malt, if there's any distinctive malt flavours in there, but I can't because the hops are just, it's, it, and what I like about it is it's such a smooth hop, such a smooth hop delivery. It really is. I'd look, I've, I've heard in beers, now I'm, I'm probably going to get this wrong, but it's, this has just come to me, Dextrim is a non-fermentable malt i think so it it produces it, it produces all the um the sugars and things or whatever but they're unfermentable but what it does it doesn't change the color it doesn't change anything about the beer but it adds body and it, it adds sort of depth and body to the beer it's like an unfermented uh, fermenting malt that adds to the beer and I sort of got a feeling that you know how you sort of have lactose in 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 beers that does that little bit of like smoothing things over or you have oats and things like that this could have oats in it um it could do it could have lactose in it. It could have this dextrin. Dextrin. I'm sure it's dex, dextrin in it. Uh, I'm just looking for the, any ingredients on here. Oh, unfiltered, unpasteurized, unfined. That's the best beer in the world that does that. Why? Well, just why take away all of that? Uh, and again, please keep this can refrigerated to preserve the flavor profile intended. There's nothing worse than spoiling someone's beer by leaving it out. This is why you think about a lot of these so-called, you know, the craft beers out in the supermarkets and things. I mean, okay, I know we go into some supermarkets and it's ice cold in there, but they've got all these beers sat on the on the fridge in a nice warm shop. I mean, well, these wouldn't be, but, you know, it's not doing them any favours, is it? You know, and uh, you get a light strike as well in some of the some of the beers there, like, like the Budvar. And things like that, beers in like green bottles and clear bottles and things. Uh, so yeah, oh here we go. Like what am I saying? There's nothing. No, it just says uh, barley and wheat. So there's no there's no indication to sort of anything like that um, in here. But it's sort of like it, in order to get that smoothness, there's that, there's a smoothness, there's a silkiness about these beers. It's gonna have oats in it. I mean, it looks sort of like like it could have some oats in there. Um, yeah, maybe some lactose. I don't know. Maybe, you know, that dextrin. I'll, have to, I'll check that out. If I've got it wrong, I'll put it up on the screen. But anyway, I'll put photos as well up of the, the pack I bought and bits and bobs when I edit it. But look at it. Oh, man. If you haven't had this bit, if you're like me, foolish. And you've had to wait until this time of your beer drinking career to drink Dea beer, then oh, what a mistake I've made! But what a discovery I've made as well. Five hundred milliliter cans as well, by the way. These are so yeah, so yeah. That I didn't mention that actually. I do apologise. So yeah, I think some most can. What? Let, let me just get one out of the fridge. You'll see. I'm sure the four forties, isn't there? Let me just give me a minute. Right, so, wow, that is a thing as well. So, this is a 500 milliliter can, and I should have mentioned that on the other one. Uh, so, yeah, so you're getting 500 mils in here, not 440, you know. So, you know, take your time with it. I mean, I drink these fast because I'm reviewing them. Well, and because, to be honest with you, they go down absolutely beautiful. And they look absolutely fantastic it's an experience beer should be an experience you shouldn't be drinking you shouldn't be drinking four cans of beer and at the end of it going yeah all right yeah um, it was okay it's fine 
That's my opinion. Oh. Oh, I'd love to know where they're getting that smoothness from. It is silk. You see how you watch that? We get into a habit of doing this. I just think, I don't know what it is. I don't think I need to do it. It's almost like keeping the, the activeness of the beer going by swilling it around. I don't, I just, I, it becomes a habit. I don't know. It's really weird. I watch my videos back sometimes thinking, what are you doing? It's amazing. That is a truly crafted beer. And you know what as well? Oh, there's none left. You know what as well? Naturally carbonated. I've not spoke about the carbonation because I've been so hooked up on the hops and the smoothness and the delicacy of this beer. And it really does. I'm not really getting myself time to let it settle on my palate or anything. But it really does leave you with that really... I can see why they call it glue. It really is gluey and sticky and lovely but not but but not in a way that is wrong it's everything everything about what's in this glass what's come out of that can that then has been brewed by these guys it is all it seems all natural and fresh and real if you know what i mean it doesn't nothing seems false about any of it there's absolutely for me for my opinion i really hope i'm right there's absolutely nothing unnatural about this beer at all from all the flavours to the carbonation. The carbonation from this is complete and utter natural carbonation that's been given from the fermentation of them sugars, given the alcohol and the uh, carbonation. It's You know, you can whoosh it around in your mouth to activate all that carbonation in your mouth to get all them flavors going around the tongue which is that there's there is a quite a nice there's definitely like a an or, there's an orangey lemony like an orange and lemon grapefruit if i was to say that is like that gorringe like the gorringe orange grapefruity lemon all them type of things. That's what I'm getting out of that. You can forget all like the, the, it tastes like this, that, this, that, this, that, this, that. Tropical fruits. I'm just getting that nice gorringe, grapefruity, lemony, them type of really nice flavors. Really, but hop flavors, not unnatural flavors. You can tell it's come from the hops and not added um, in there. And it's welcoming, it's inviting, it's exciting, it's crafted. The carbonation, when you swoosh it around your mouth, like I say, then flavours go around your mouth. The carbonation ignites in your mouth without wanting it to explode. I've said this in the past, if you drink a can of Coke and you do that, you have a Coke in your mouth, you ain't going to be able to even hold that Coke in your mouth. It's going to explode. Natural carbonation is so different it just foams up a bit, if you know what I mean. It just, it it's like bubble bath. <laughs> when you put the bubble bath in it, swoosh it around, it just foams up, you know what I mean? Um, describing a beer as bubble bath. This is like Mr. Matey. Remember Mr. I, I actually love a bath, and I have a bath with Mr. Matey. Like, I'm going to put a picture of Mr. Matey up in a minute. You're going to go, oh my God, who the hell is Mr. Matey? Or you're going to go, Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> I remember Mr. Matey. But you got Mr. Matey, Mrs. Matey. Oh, it's fabulous. And it's so soft and smooth and silky on your skin. And that's why I look so fresh and young. <laughs> but, yeah, it is. It is. It looks just like, like Mr. Matey leaves that silky, smooth loveliness all over your body. The bubbles are fresh and vibrant and bubbly and lovely and it's just like this is this is just leaving that smoothness and silkiness all over my palate and the oh and the and the bubbles and the foam it's magical what a magical beer so the pale ale got a 10 out of 10 this is going to get another speno 10 out of 10 it is absolutely brilliant what a frigging great beer
Mm. Oh, magical. Wow. That's a wow beer. Just magical beer. Magical, magical beer. Great brewery, great delivery, great service. Absolutely great artwork, fantastic. You know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to do the IPA because I can't, I can't not, I can't, I just can't. But anyway, I've been Spenno. This one's been a little bit longer. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you on the next one, probably wearing the same shirt. Much love. Cheers.